along the quiet American coastline where waves once rolled peacefully over golden sand, an unseen army is on the move. Thousands of small green crabs swarm through the shallows, digging, feeding, and multiplying at an unstoppable rate. They may fit in the palm of a hand, but their impact is enormous. Entire ecosystems have been disrupted, local fisheries damaged, and scientists estimate that these invaders cost the U.S. economy over $22 million every year. What started as a few harmless stowaways has turned into one of the most aggressive marine invasions in modern history. This is the story of the green crab, a creature so small yet powerful enough to reshape entire coastlines. known to science as Carcinus myanus. The green crab looks ordinary. A small shell, five sharp points on each side, and a pair of restless claws. But beneath that armor lies a survivor built for chaos. They thrive in cold or warm water, salty or brackish, shallow or deep. Nothing seems to stop them. Each female can lay up to 180,000 eggs in a single season. Within just a few years, their numbers explode, forming dense carpets that overrun native habitats. Originally from the coasts of Europe and the Mediterranean, the species spread silently through global shipping routes. Their larvae traveled unnoticed in ballast water of cargo ships crossing oceans to North America in the 1800s first reaching the East Coast, then the Pacific. From Maine to California, they have now conquered both sides of the continent. Today, small boats line the American shores, setting steel traps that weigh more than the fishermen themselves. Each one is baited and lowered into the waves, a desperate attempt to slow the invasion. Hours later, when the ropes are pulled tight, the traps burst open with movement. Hundreds of green crabs clinging and snapping violently. Decks become alive, slick with seawater and motion. Men in heavy gloves shovel sort and count under the roar of the surf, knowing that no matter how many they catch today, tomorrow, the sea will be full again. This is not ordinary fishing. It's a race against biology, a fight humans can barely keep up with. As the problem deepens, scientists are rethinking how to fight back. Traditional trapping alone isn't enough. Marine biologists are now testing pheromones to disrupt mating cycles. Deploying drones and sonar to locate spawning grounds, and even using AI prediction models to forecast future invasion zones. At the same time, local communities are stepping in. Students, fishermen, and volunteers unite in a movement called Eat the Invaders. Instead of letting the species go to waste, they turn the threat into opportunity turning green crab into soups, bisques, and seafood broths. Some chefs even call it the flavor that saves the ocean.
But the question remains, are we solving the problem or simply adapting to it? If green crab becomes a valuable resource, will we ever truly want to eliminate it? It's a paradox of our own making turning invaders into profits, even as they destroy what once was natural balance. Meanwhile, far north in Alaska, another story unfolds, the disappearance of the snow crab. In just one winter, billions vanished from the Bering Sea. The same waters that once overflowed with life are now nearly empty. Rising ocean temperatures melted the icy layers snow crabs depended on. Without cold water to shelter them, they starved or were wiped out by predators. Within months, more than 10 billion crabs were gone. Entire fishing seasons were canceled. Families lost their livelihoods and over a billion dollars in value vanished almost overnight. While the native species struggled to survive the invader, thrives a cruel mirror of how fragile the balance of nature has become. The contrast is haunting. In the north, abundance collapses into silence. In the south, invasion grows louder every year. Global trade and climate change have turned the ocean into a stage of contradictions where alien species explode in number while native treasures fade away. The green crab invasion is not just a warning about one species. It's a glimpse of the future, a future shaped by human movement, warming seas, and unintended consequences. The ocean is changing faster than any scientist can predict. Invasions multiply, resources vanish. The question is no longer how to stop it, but how to live with it, and whether we have the wisdom to restore balance before it's too late. If you found this story eye-opening, remember to like, share, and subscribe to explore more truths hidden beneath the waves. Because the sea, vast and powerful, always keeps its final word.